Hello everyone. Um, so we are going to now venture over to the thief. Um, I say thief, I'm sorry, uh, money changer. Which is over here. And as soon as we get there, oh, now I know why I said that. <laughs> sorry, that was very Freudian. Uh, you'll see in a moment. And again, I apologize for the loading times, but it's, uh, it's one of those games that was just uh, at an odd time for technology, so it's uh, got to load. It says you enter the n north end of the bazaar and witness a dispute. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my cursor at the top here. What are you doing? That is not right. And I'm going to... Wait. Stop him. Thief. Thief. Alright, so now I can... Ah, uh, see? I messed up. Oh, guys, uh... If you notice, uh, they give you an automatic save, uh, but I'm not going to go to the automatic save. Uh, I'm going to go to changing my money back. Um, and this is why uh, I hate this interface. I like being able to freely move my character around. Um, it gets very tiresome. Um, having to scroll through everything. Um, I had no control of my upper bar here because there was things happening and I was accosted by a merchant trying to sell me fruit even though I don't have the proper money. So as soon as I am able to, I am going to go up here. And he says, stop him thief. I'm now going to run after him. to the jo uh, the Hall of Judgment. Uh, the Jaw of Hudgment, yes. I'm going to the Jaw of Hudgment, everybody. Sheesh, our first day, and we're already in the Hall of Judgment. You're led to the guard to the Hall of Judgment to attend the judgment of the thief. The Council of Judgment has determined that you, Harami, have broken the laws of Tarna by taking things belonging to others. You have shown yourself to be without honor. Do you have anything to you wish to say before you are named honorless? Hey, big deal. Then, by the judgment of the council and laws of Tarna, you, Harami, are now formally named honorless. So you have acted, so sh you shall be. The honorless one must leave the hall. Very dramatic. The council of judgment now summons the Prince of Shapir. Prince of Shapir aided my guards in the capture of the Honorless One. The Council of Judgment commends the Prince of Shapir's action on behalf of Tarnar and thanks him. King Raja orders Rakesh and the Prince of Shapir to meet with him in his chambers immediately. You may enter into the presence of Raja Satarna. Raja Satarna, I stand before you. Rakish Sotarna, you stand before me in honor. This is my friend, the Prince of Shapir. Alright, so we uh, have control again. Raja does not seem to be as large as Rakish, but he does look like he has fought more. He does not look as noble as some lion tours, but he does look tough. Raja has excellent taste in personal servants. You are in the chambers of King of Tarna. Upon the throne lies Raja Satarna, rightful ruler of the land. There is the odor of incense and animal fur in the air. Rakesh, you brought along this Prince Shabir. You help. How can a lion be of such service to a lion tour? So human, you have imitated Rakesh and become a paladin. Why, do you th why did you follow him here? Don't you think Rakesh is enough of a paladin to handle the situation? Uh, 
um, I will defend him because he uh, is basically trying to say that Rakesh is growing old, so it's very important to defend Rakesh. You get a point for that. You defend Rakesh's bravery and honor. You need a human to speak up for you now, Rakesh? I do not need to defend myself to you of all people, Raja. Rakesh, you of anyone should be demanding war instead of talking about peace. Rishaka is lost. Your own daughter has been killed by the Leopard Men. Do you not want revenge? The truth of what has happened to Rishaka has not been determined. When I know for certain about Rishaka, I will deal with it the matter myself. I do not need all of Tarna to suffer the horrors of war for my daughter. Revenge for the sake of revenge is pointless. Mindless revenge is more stu is pure stupidity. Rakesh, you... Human, do you have anything important to add to this conversation? You, sp you speak of how Rakesh helped you in Shapir. You are fortunate, Rakesh, to have such a defender of your honor. Human, you may leave our presence now. I wish to speak further with Rakesh. So, I'm gonna say goodbye. Um, you now have the ability to make your magical sword burst into fly, uh, fly flame during combat. Uh, so we got a skill uh, from, for doing that. Um, I'm sorry if I went through that too fast, guys. Uh, unfortunately, things in this game are very rushed and hurried and time sensitive. Uh, characters will just continue to talk uh, and you have to make sure that you do the right thing at the right time. Uh, but luckily, there is an autosave feature built into the game, so if you do mess something up, you can always go back. Um, I wish this dramatic music wasn't playing through everything, but uh, let's just look. You see a huge stone statue of a man with a lion-like head. You see the stern lion tour guard at the Hall of Judgment. This is the daytime guard for the King's Chamber. Uh, let's see if we can talk to the guard. Ask about the door. The door to the north leads to the king's chambers. Few humans are permitted here. The door to the south leads to the Hall of Judgment. Few humans wish to face Council of Judgment. Uh, let's ask about the Hall of Judgment. The Hall of Judgment is where the laws of the land are made, and those without honor are judged. Uh, let's ask about the Council. Council of Judgment make the laws of Tarna and judge those who break the laws of Tarna. Let's ask about the laws. All who enter Tarna must learn the laws of the city. You may read of them in the inn below. Let's ask about the King's Chambers. The King's Chamber is where the great ruler meets with those the king wishes to see. Let's ask about the ruler. The ruler of Tarna is Raja Shal Tarna. May his reign be long. And that's pretty much all we can ask about. Uh, oh, nope, actually I can ask more. Our duty is to ensure only those summoned may pass through the doors. The stairs up lead to the Temple of Sekhmet. The stairs before us lead down to the middle plateau of Tarna. There are three levels. Our plateaus to the city of Tarna. The workers live on the upper plateau. On the lower plateau, the better class merchants live upon the middle plateau. The ruling classes live on the upper plateau. Lion tours live on the middle and upper plateaus in the eastern section of Tarna. Humans live on the middle and lower plateaus in the western section of the city. A strange human such as yourself would be wise to observe that humans are not welcome in the eastern section of Tarna. A strange human? Let's ask about the temple. The temple is where we lion tours worship the great goddess Sekhmet. Let's ask about Sekhmet. Sekhmet is the lion or goddess who protects Tarna and all beings within the gates. Alright, I already asked about the plateaus. Uh, is there anything else? Let's ask his name. I have been named Tabaka Simrish. Alright, um, does the other guard have different things to say? Let's ask his name. It's not my duty to answer the question of humans. Uh, I can't help but just think of the beast from Beauty and the Beast when I look at these guys. Um, 
But, uh, yeah, we're gonna leave now. And go back down. And, uh, I'm going to go to the money changer. And exchange my money. Uh, we've already talked to all these guys, so I can just walk past them. And, uh... Narak Saeed, Effendi, good day. I am the money changer, Dahab Khalis. Do you wish to exchange some foreign coin for the money of Tarna? Uh, yes. Greet him. You greet the money changer. May you have a good day as well, Effendi. Um... Say, well, let's tell him about Shapir first. Tell the money changer about your adventures in Shapir. It's good to hear such news of Shapir. My family and I moved here many years ago from Rasir. Alright. Let's say yes. You have 200 dinars. Exchange to royals. Katir Kairak Mamnum Effendi. Many thanks. Alright, so, um, if we look at our inventory now. Uh... And we have 180 royals. Uh, it wasn't like the last game where we could uh, just change some of our money uh, for uh, for a lesser exchange rate. It pretty much just takes out. Um, I think that's what that's like 10%. Like I can't really do math. Uh, I'm bad at that. But yeah, I th I think it's 10%. Uh, but let's look at him. You see an elderly but distinguished looking man wearing a turban. Uh, when we come back, uh, I'm going to have conversations with these guys and uh, continue to explore the bazaar. But I will save for now. And I'll override the automatic save and I'll call this uh, after council. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks. See you next time.